Hello, everybody. I am back with my weekly Facebook Live on Thursday afternoon. So I skipped the last two weeks because number one, it was Goddess Weekend, and number two, things have been crazy. But I am back on, and I have no guests because someone bailed on me, but that's okay. It is what it is. Um, I just wanted to share something that's come up a lot this week. So as you might know from seeing on my Facebook, I just came back from a really amazing women's retreat with over 200 women. And um, my friend Janny Moon is the founder. And I helped out along with a bunch of other women to organize and put it on. And this retreat was amazing. I spent four days there, even though it was only a two and a half day retreat. And I came back with so much energy and so much drive and, and feeling great and really um, empowered and supported by so many amazing women. You know, it's a network of 200 people that are all interconnected that truly care about each other. And it really made me think about this notion of retreating. And I've actually talked about this a lot, about slowing down and taking time for silence and taking time offline completely and really time to connect in some way or another, whether it's with other people or with yourself. And it just so happens I am actually part of an online retreat that is starting on summer solstice, which is next, I think, Thursday, the 21st. And I will put the link in this post, but please join. It's called the Woman Unleashed Online Retreat. And I'm a part of it. There's 21 other women. And it's really, my friend Amber does these twice a year at the winter and summer solstice because she knows how important it is for women, especially to take time out for themselves. So this has actually come up for a couple clients of mine and another person who's looking to become a client of mine about this notion of um, knowing when they're going to see results. Like how long is it going to take? I've been working with you for three months and I want to see results. And, or I've been working on this business for six months and I'm not making millions yet. So, you know, I really wanted to talk about this notion of, I know it sounds so cliche, but really staying in the present moment of the journey of starting a business or growing your business or whatever it is you're working on in life. It doesn't matter if it's a business or not, but this notion of really taking time to slow down to then speed up, right? So I know it sounds very counterintuitive because our Western society talks about how we're all here to produce and work and constantly be doing, doing, doing in order to get results. But the reality is when you're so caught up in this this motion and you know especially with our world today with all the social media and all we have that's moving so fast the more and more we're all caught up in you know so many different directions being pulled in all ways so much to do so much to constantly be working on you know there's not one person i know who has a to-do list that doesn't um you know just keep continuing like my to-do list goes for it'll probably last me three or four years you know it's there is there is something to be said in this taking time out to retreat. And that doesn't have to mean going offline for 10 days on a Vipassana, although I highly recommend it because it changed my life. But it really means taking time out for yourself. You know, this, the, there's a lot of people who have been throwing around the word self-care. And a lot of people don't even know what that means. But the, the reason why it's being talked about so much lately, um, I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's really this notion of taking care of your needs, you know, whether it's sleep, or silence, or going for a walk, or exercising, or really taking care of yourself creatively, um, you know, doing things that truly fulfill you beyond what your day-to-day -day work is, or day-to-day -day responsibilities of family, of life, of money, of paying the bills, of producing, of, you know, answering Facebook posts, posting on Instagram, getting all your emails done. You know, the reason why this, I think, keeps coming up more and more, the, the reason why we need this so much is because we are living in this fast-paced world and we've all been taught that everything is about results and producing results and producing money and, you know, making millions. And while this is important, you know, I'm not saying don't make money. I'm saying it's all about the ebb and flow of life. It's the balance, right? It's like imagine waves in an ocean. They come in, they go out, they come in, they go out. The seasons, they change, you know, winter is kind of a slowing down and spring is a rebirth. And it's actually come up with a couple clients this week about, you know, am I doing enough? Why am I not seeing results? You know, um, how long is this going to take? Which I find hilarious because some of them, it's only been three months. You know, some it's been six months. Um, 
you know, the reality is no matter where you are in building a business or bringing anything to life, whether it's a passion project or, you know, producing something, you know, it's, it truly is all about the journey. There is no end, you know, when is the end? Like when you make 10 million, you know, I know so many people that have made multi millions and it actually doesn't really end, right? They either want to make more or they feel unfulfilled and are searching for something else or they're just unfulfilled and unhappy and they kill themselves, right? Like, I don't know about you, but the two celebrity suicides in the last week have really gotten to me. Um, one, because I actually knew the co-founder of Kate Spade and two, because I came from that industry. And I know, um, you know, I've worked with many women that, that hold that role of, I have to be perfect. I have to constantly be doing, I have to, you know, be this famous designer. I have to make millions. And then what, like, then you're just unfulfilled. So when people really get caught up in this, like, when am I seeing results? When's, you know, when are things going to get there? It's like, you have to really ground yourself in the present moment. This is why I talk about meditation. This is why so many well-known, successful and famous entrepreneurs meditate. And you can Google this. I'm not making it up. Um, there's a reason why, because it really keeps you grounded in the present, which is right now, which is there are no results. It doesn't matter. All that matters is the result of this very moment. Like right now I have a, a 525 call I have to get onto. Um, and I actually want to make a video for a potential client and make a video for another client. But instead I decided to make a Facebook video because I figure I could send this to them. It's the same thing I didn't want to discuss with them anyways. But all I'm staying present in is what I need to do right now. Um, there's a good book that one of my coaches actually recommends called um, – the one thing, I think that's what it's called. I've read it numerous times way before she recommended it, but it's really about staying in that one moment. Like, yeah, I have a to-do list that's a thousand pages long. I have something I was supposed to do yesterday. I have something I probably should have done on Friday, but instead I went, you know, and dealt with the goddess weekend, which by the way is worth giving up anything over. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter. All that matters is right now. All that matters is taking care of what needs to be done. You know, my client's needs were more immediate than this thing that has to be done, you know, by, I, I don't know, next week, right? So it's 10 minutes of my time. So this is what I'm talking about, this notion of retreating and this notion of staying very present and why things like, you know, this online retreat that Amber's doing that I'm a part of is so important because it really helps women. And I, I talk to women especially because Women, you know, tend to be more of the caretakers of the family. They tend to be working multiple roles. You know, a lot of them are moms and have kids pulling them in all directions. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an issue in our Western society where women don't take time for themselves to truly disconnect and get offline and really take in self-care. So the goddess retreat that Jani puts on that I helped co-organize was all about that, like getting back in yourself, you know, getting in touch with your emotions, taking time out to really be cared for. There was a lot of, um, you know, we had healing, we had yoga, we had amazing food, we had just time connecting with other women that, you know, are going through similar things. And it's really about, you know, spending three days, you know, I personally barely pulled out my phone and usually it was just to take pictures, but really like disconnecting and knowing that everything is okay. and it is necessary to take time out to take a breath and really stay present and grounded in what it is that you are trying to work on in your life. So, you know, as an entrepreneur, this, I, I have suffered from this many times. Trust me. I spent a lot of time working on this, like trying to keep myself grounded in what needs to be done now and not get caught up in, um, as one of my coaches says, the shiny, what is it? The shiny object syndrome, right? Like, I should be growing my Instagram or I should be doing YouTube videos or I need a email list with a hundred thousand people or, you know, maybe I should start a podcast or maybe I should give talks. And it's like, yeah, there's a thousand different ways to grow. Right. And I deal with this with my clients. Like they get caught up in all these different ideas, you know, like, what should I do? What should I do? And then, eh. and then they end up actually doing nothing. And it's, you know, I talk about this, like, it's like, you have to stay with your vision and your mission and really stay grounded in like, what is it that I have to do first? What is it that's most important? What is it that's going to produce the most results? Um, 
you know, right now, like for example, I'm giving in-person talks, right? Because I know I love connecting with people in reality and versus virtual, even though I love this Facebook live and you know, yeah, I want to grow my Instagram or start a YouTube channel. Oh, actually I have one, but no one watches it. Um, but I'm not going to get caught up in, Oh, making YouTube videos. And, and then, then I lose what actually is really important, which is going connecting people with my talks or connecting with clients. So I'm just giving this as an example. And really I repeat, you know, take up some sort of a practice that keeps you present, whether it's meditation or um, journaling or both or visualization, something daily that really grounds you into the present moment of like, okay, let me take a 10 minute breath. You know, I actually prefer 20 minutes or even a little more. And really think about like, what is it that I need to do today? What is it that I want to invest in? You know, I have a vision, you know, um, my vision, let's say I have a client who has a product and a, a retail store and wants to expand it and wants to make more money with it and wants to reach more people. You know, it's like get grounded in what is it that I could do today? And how important is this vision to me to actually invest in growing it? Because if you get pulled in different directions or you get overcome with fear and um, not knowing or the shiny object syndrome or, you know, everybody telling you 20,000 ways to grow your business, then you actually end up shutting down. And that's when no results get produced. So it's really about staying present in that. Like, what is my vision? Like, my vision is to really help um, people come into their heart and follow their dreams and do what they truly love. Because if everybody did work that they loved and made money doing work that they love, we would probably have peace on earth. I mean, it's a big vision, but it's, that's really what drives me because I've seen how it's worked for me and I see how it works for all my clients and all my peers around me that are doing work that they absolutely love are, are literally changing the planet. So when you stay connected in that mission, like a deeper mission and your deeper vision, then you start to question like, what is this worth? You know, where do I invest? Where do I invest my money, my time, my energy? And what's the most important thing? You know, and, and for me right now, it's one strategy for uh, one of my clients, it would be a totally different strategy. But the whole point is, is to really slow down and get present to that one thing. And I've written about this. I've talked about this. I've given talks on this about this notion of, of slowing down. And you can listen to me. I am not a slow person. I'm a multiple fire sign. I'm a runner. I work out every day. I have super high energy, but I know for a fact that slowing down is actually the key to everything. So whether it's this online retreat that Amber's doing, which by the way is free, I think you should totally join in. I'll post the link in this video or going on a retreat or actually like taking an extra day or two off and not feeling guilty about it. Like it's going to be nice out this weekend. I'm taking half of tomorrow off to go hiking. Um, but you know what, it's probably going to rain on some Saturday coming up and I'll probably just work that day. So it's really about like, wait a second, like, you know, I use that time for me, that slowing down time, that grounded time to really like gather my brain and really get present in that moment and not get caught up in everything that's going on in our super fast paced world full of media coming at us in all directions and Facebook ads and videos like this one even you know, it's, we're living in this world of just constant information and noise coming at us. And it's really the, the key is in the silence. Like the key is in the quietness. The key is in letting go of what's going on in here. Like the like fears, issues, money, problems, jobs, life, uh, family, and really just staying present, you know, like everything is truly okay you know, one moment at a time, if you, if everyone just took life one moment at a time versus caught up in all the stuff that's going on in our head and being thrown at us, you know, we wouldn't be living with anxiety. We wouldn't be having fears. We wouldn't be stressing out constantly about everything. You know, it's, uh, it always seems to be money related, you know, the people I talk to. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, again, Amber's free online retreat is called Woman Unleashed. I will post my link, um, a sign up. It's free. It's going to be really fun. There's talks, there's workshops, there's yoga and movement and painting and drawing. And it's, you know, she knows the importance of this. She has an extremely successful business and leads these amazing retreats in Hawaii. And this is why she's sharing it. Because again, the people that have proven it, that know how important this is they're out there trying to teach people 
how important self-care is, how important slowing down time is. You know, it's really connecting with the energy of the world that we're in. Like the, the animals do it, the plants do it, the earth, everything, like the tides in and out, in and out. It's not always, the tides are not just always out or is it in? I don't know. Now I'm confused, but you know what I mean? It's the ebb and the flow. It's about finding that balance. And that's what I wanted to talk about because this has come up so much for people, especially this week. And it's just really interesting because I came off of a retreat and, um, you know, that's, I guess, how life works. You know, this is the lessons we're here to learn. So anyways, again, my name is Beth. I have a weekly Thursday afternoon, sometimes Fridays, Facebook Live. I'm usually interviewing a guest. I will probably have a guest next week, but often I'm alone and I just share hopefully helpful, helpful information that will inspire you and teach you something. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Bye.